Welcome back to Sadler Up Nails. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and New Year's. And now to start 2023, we're going to do this awesome tweed and corduroy design. We're going to start off with the corduroy nail. I'm using Cashmere Gray by Madame Glam. And this polish is just so opaque and gorgeous. I only need two coats of it for this design. Now I did prep this nail with Young Nails Protein Bond. Uh, if you wanna see how I prep my nails, I do have a video on three ways you can prep your press-on. So definitely check out that video. Now I do cure each coat for 30 seconds in an LED and now I'm applying the second coat and you all know you can use my code BeckyTK40 to get 40% off Madame Glam gel polishes. For the corduroy design it is basically a sweater nail but I like to do the base coat um, glossy instead of matte so i am using ugly ducklings no wipe top coat because that is my absolute favorite no wipe top coat the madam glam top coat is also very very good as well um i just for some reason i do prefer the ugly duckling so you do cure that for a full 60 seconds in an led and now we're going to come in and do the corduroy design. Now I'm just using a long striping brush. This is not a liner brush, it's called a striping brush. The bristles are a lot longer and it's a lot easier to do pinstripes uh, with a striping brush versus a liner brush because the shorter brush is just not as easy to control and you do want to make sure that brush is loaded right up so that it sticks to the nail because the glossy top coat is a little bit slippery and sometimes the end of the brush will kind of slip on you and that's not good because we want our lines to be perfectly straight. So you're gonna put down all your lines. You can do this in bits um, if you want to do like three lines at a time, you definitely can. Um, so what we're going to do is after we put down the polish, we're going to sprinkle our acrylic over top to make the sweater textured look. So if you want to do this in steps, you can do that. You would just have to brush off your acrylic and then do your next set of lines. Obviously, as you can see, I am using the same base color to do the corduroy design, the cashmere gray. However, you could switch it up a little bit and do a different color for the stripes. I think that would really, that would look really cool. Like if you used maybe a darker gray or even a purple. Um, I might try that for my next design because I'm absolutely obsessed with the corduroy nails at the moment. My last set I did was half tortoise shell, half corduroy, which I absolutely loved. So I might do corduroy on my next set and do a yeah contrasting colors I think that would look really cool so after you're done putting down all your lines and they're straight you're going to come in with your clear acrylic powder you could use an acrylic powder that matches the color of your polish however clear just can be used on any color so I mean I would just get clear and then it's more versatile for doing uh, textured sweater designs. I mean, unless you use acrylic and then you have all different colors and go for it. I don't use acrylic, so 
This is literally the only <laughs> acrylic I have, which is clear. And so you're gonna sprinkle that over top until you don't see shine, basically. You're gonna wanna make sure that there's no shine coming through on your wet polish. Otherwise, once you cure it, that's it. You cannot go back and do this step again and it will upset you. It upsets me when I miss a spot. So just make sure you cover the entire nail and kind of let that acrylic soak in a little bit. And then you're going to cure the nail, cure it first, full cure. And after it's cured, brush off the excess acrylic. If you do this while it is wet, you will 100% mess up your design but whatever, just wipe it off and do it again. Now for the tweed nail, I am using Terrazzo again by Madame Glam. This is a really cool gray polish that has like white and black glitter as well as some like gold micro glitter in it. It's a really cool polish. It gives you this awesome like stone look to it. I absolutely love it. So I'm using it as the base coat for my tweed nails. I love saying tweed, tweed. So I do put down three coats of this. I'm only showing you two coats. This is the second coat. I find this polish to be a little bit sheer. Um, so I do put down three coats of it just to make sure it is opaque. And then for this nail, we are going to make it matte. And then we're going to come in with a glossy design, I guess. I'm gonna be using Madame Glam's gel paints to do the tweed look. And they cure to a glossy finish you do not need to top coat them so they're really awesome for doing like contrasting looks like this now i did use madame glam's matte or sorry ugly ducklings matte which does have a dispersion layer so i was just wiping that off there to reveal the beautiful matte finish and now i'm going to use madame glam's gold gel paint to start off the tweed look. I have done this design in different orders with like the colors and I find that the glitter is best to do first so that it doesn't overpower your design. I mean, unless you choose not to use glitter at all, but who doesn't love glitter? So for the tweed, what you're gonna wanna do is long lines and I start off with vertical lines. I find the design looks better when your lines are longer versus shorter. And you're going to try to want to stay along the same line like when you when you put a line on the top of the nail and if you're putting a line on the bottom of the nail, try to stay along the same line cuz these are supposed to kind of like be stitches right and when you stitch something it's along the same line i don't know what i'm trying to explain here but just these aren't random is what i'm trying to say like i'm making sure they're in certain spots and then after you do your vertical lines you're going to come in with your horizontal lines and when you're doing these ones try to go across more than one of your vertical lines to make it look more like a stitch, if that makes sense. And we're kind of doing dashes because you want to replicate the look of like a stitch, you know, going in and out of fabric. So when the stitch is in the fabric, you don't see it, but when the stitch is on the outside of the fabric, you do see it. So that is the look we're trying to create here. After you've put down your gold, you're going to fully cure it. These gel paints do take a full minute, 60 second cure. And after you've done 
that I'm com- you come in with your black and try to keep the black thin because black can be overpowering and so be very light handed with your brush and put these lines basically in different spots than the gold don't cover up your gold but it's basically the same concept we're trying to mimic stitches so stay within the same line when you're going down vertically and then when you're going across horizontally like previously try to go across more than one stitch and then you're also like dry brushing if you can tell and so with the dry brush technique it it almost makes it look more of like a stitch going in and out of fabric does this make any sense i hope it does if you know what like tweed looks like then you would understand um, what i'm trying to explain here and then just fill in some empty spots that you feel need more color after you've fully cured the black for 60 seconds we're then then come in with the last color which is white and it is the exact same process as before and i'm not sure if you can tell in the video but as you're layering these polishes it creates a textured look and feel to the nail which i just love i'm so into textures right now especially during the winter and i honestly think we're gonna see a lot more textured designs throughout 2023 like i i see that that's the trend that's going to be coming so after a full cure that nail's finished and these are the nails my full set how do you like them? Please comment below. I hope you loved this tutorial. Please subscribe.